Hey guys, um, so I wanted to do another review, well not really review, but I just wanted to do a follow up on uh, this Low Pro uh, Rover Pro, it's the 45 LAW, so I got a, a bunch of questions through my website and uh, a couple of them online on YouTube as well, just kind of asking, you know, uh, how it's been, what I recommended, things like that, so I just figured I'd do another video, um, I bought this in February. Uh, it's 2015, um, so I've had it for about nine months or so. Um, I like it, uh, so I'll you know I'll tell you why. It's been the Zion with me. I did the Franconia Notch uh, Trail with this in New Hampshire. Uh, so if you know what that's about, uh, <clears throat> it's a pretty uh, uh, strenuous hike. But um, the, the things I like about it is it's solid. Uh, when it's on me, it feels good. Um, again, the Franconia Notch uh, hike that I did, um, uh, I had this on me all day with my camera gear in there. Uh, Canon 6D, um, uh, 16 to 20, um, you know, a, a couple other lenses, and, uh, and it held up really well. Uh, it didn't feel bad at all. Feels real good. Uh, I'm not going to go through everything because that's in the first video. Um, what I don't like about it. And I can't really say, you know, and it's kind of not fair, but I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, is that the camera gear is in, um, you know, uh, these separate pouches or pouches or compartments, really. So if you want to come in, you got to take this, you got to, you know, take this out, put it down, grab your lenses out of there. And the same goes, you know, for this one, which holds the camera and whatnot. Um... <clears throat> You know, I knew I was getting that when I bought it, and it's fine, but sometimes it's just a little bit easier to have a, um, you know, a, a bag where, you know, obviously you can just open up like a regular camera bag, and then you have your stuff right there, so you can put it down, open it up, go ahead, grab your camera out, do what you got to do. Um, so that's really the only one negative, kind of, that I have with the bag, and I don't even know if, if you would call that a negative, because obviously you know you're getting that when you buy uh, when you buy the bag, but other than that, it's been good. I've gotten um, a handful of questions on whether or not you can take this on planes. Yes, I took this as a carry-on on a couple planes. Uh, my camera gear in it, um, you know, stuff, you know, filled up to the front of the bag here, and I, you know, no one ever said anything. I didn't have any issues, anything like that. So you can definitely take it as a carry-on. Um, and again, I, I, I bought this because, you know, you can take these out and you have you know um, you know um, a 45 liter bag just for hiking um, and I've done that a couple times as well so I would definitely recommend it um, you know uh, as, as a camera bag but you know just keep in mind that you know you are gonna have to put this down open this up you know then go ahead and unzipper you know uh, these containers, not, not containers, but holders, and then you know, you're going to have to pull your gear out of there. Um, so that's that's kind of where I'm at with the bag, but you know, would I recommend it? Yes. Do I like it? I do, actually. It's really solid. It's really comfortable on me. Um, you know, I have a, uh, a Tokina 16 to, uh, to 28, um, you know, for my Canon 60, which I'm actually using to record this video. Um, and that's a pretty heavy lens if you know that lens. I have a, a Tamron, I think it's a 24 to 70. Um, I have a Sigma 70 to 300 that goes in here. Obviously, all the extra, you know, batteries, stuff like that. So, with all that in there, it feels really solid. It's snugged up on my back um, and it's comfortable. Um, one, one thing um, back here, you know, there's, um, you know, there's basically, there's, you know, um, a metal kind of wire, you know, that, that kind of goes down and it's, it's right down here, you can, you can feel it. Um, I probably didn't have it strapped right, but that kind of came into my lower back once. Um, but, I, you know, I adjusted the straps on it, so after that, I, I really, you know, haven't ha had any issues with that happening again. So that was probably my own fault. Um, but again, other than that, it's, it's a solid bag. Uh, I like it a lot. It's been on quite a few trips with me. So, um, you know, if you're looking to pick something up, 
again, might not uh, might not be a bad option for you, but you know, just keep in mind this is where you got to get your camera gear. So you got to unzip this, open it, take these out, or you know, if you're not taking them out, unzip them. Um, but what is nice, you know, you can just put your camera gear in here, zip this up, and then take this out with you somewhere if you wanted, which I've done that a couple times. Or you can take this. Uh, I have the other Low Pro. It's it's a small one. I think it's like a 30 or, or something like that. But uh, you can actually take this um, and slide it into that bag uh, from the top because if you take those camera pieces out, you know, it, it becomes a regular backpack, so you can put this all the way down in there. Um, so that is, you know, a positive side to having these separate, um, you know, these separate compartments that hold all your gear. Um, so that's it. Just wanted to do a quick follow-up because I did have, you know, a lot of questions come through my website, which is alcoolaphotos.com. Um, <clears throat> So I'll put this video up on there, uh, on YouTube as well. So you know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to kind of hit me up and just uh, let me know your thoughts or whatever. So all right, good luck. Thanks. Bye.